Hello, hello, my name is Victoria B. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Always remember if you're not a Gemini sun, check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There will be some messages in there for you as well. Also, this reading can be flipped around, vice versa, and also. The roles can be reversed, male, female, etc., and so on, okay? All right, guys, let's get on with our Gemini reading. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be a love reading for Gemini and their person. Oh, goodness. Okay, something wanted to come out already. We have inspired okay inspired what else for Gemini Gemini Sun Moon Rising Venus Holy Spirit Holy Angels Spirit Guides Ancestors we have for Gemini okay we have depressed uh oh gemini hope it's not you these messages are for you and your person just keep that in mind okay, inspired depressed okay let's get a couple more gemini sun moon rising venus evolving evolving someone's moving up in the spiritual realm any more for any more for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we have Facade. Help. Eval. And on the bottom we have Apology. So that's our main message that was on the bottom. So we have Inspired, Depressed, Evolving, Facade, Help. A vow, a v o w, and apology was on the bottom. So let's see what else we got for our Gemini's. Let's start off with the tarot. Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, let us know what we need to know for Gemini and their person. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, this could represent some conflict going on um, in a relationship, okay? For right now, some kind of conflict. All right, and on the bottom, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, I'm not going to take that. I'm going to see if it comes out again. What else do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, Gemini. Um, something has happened with this person. You have some kind of conflict with the Knight of Swords. Looks like someone has betrayed you or stabbed you in the back in some way. They weren't good to you, your person. We don't know if this is a past relationship or somebody coming up in the future. Um, this is the Sun and Gemini, and also Aquarius and Libra Gemini. Hmm. Okay. You might be feeling a little depressed right now with the Knight of Swords conflict and then the Ten of Swords crossing your spread. You or your person. Somebody is feeling depressed. Somebody's putting on a facade. Someone needs help. All right. And on the bottom, we have the King of Pentacles. All right, let's keep going. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Spirit Guides. Whoops. What do we have for Gemini? Okay, something more. To, there's that Seven of Swords again. We have the Seven of Swords. Okay, um... The Seven of Swords, you know, is old sneaky, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody that could have cheated on you, lied to you, maybe even stole from you. Um, 
this type of person, you know, will steal your money and help you look for it. They will take your energy and give it to some other lover. Um, this person is really hurt and insecure on the outside. I mean, on the inside, they put up a different, they, a lot of the Seven of Swords people are, hold, are, are showing some kind of facade. They definitely need help. <laughs> they're really broken hearted for real, but they're still being there. Somebody was not playing with you right. Someone was lying, cheating, or stealing, being sneaky, doing something sneaky, and getting away with it. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep going here. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini and their person. Okay, at the root of your spread, you have the Ten of Wands. So you have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, okay? So this is Ten, Ten. This is the ending of a painful cycle. Okay, you, you between you and old Sneaky up here, and you have conflict here, you had a lot of conflict in that relationship. That person could have cheated on you, lied to you, took your money, um, done all sorts of um, things to hurt you. But anyway, the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords is the ending of a cycle, painful cycle. And the Ten of Wands is putting the burden down. Because if this relationship has been very burdensome for you, um, you see that person carrying those sticks, you know, it, it, sometimes you might even have a backache. It could be so you're just carrying, you're carrying the weight of the world. You might have felt like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders with this person. Okay, Gemini, but the good thing about tens is it's an ending, so that's the good part. And then we have <laughs> the hangman. Wow. Okay, we have the hangman in reverse. Okay, so look at this. We have the hangman in reverse. This is Pisces energy. Somebody could have Pisces in their chart. Somebody you were dealing with or you. This looks like you, okay? You have the Ten of Wands. Very burdensome relationship, okay? And this the hangman could have meant that you were stuck, okay? Maybe you put a lot of sacrifices in this relationship with this person. And you were stuck at one time, but you're not stuck anymore, Okay? See that uh, light around that person's head? Um, now that you're, looks to me like you put this burden down because of the hangman in reverse. You're not stuck anymore. You're not making sacrifices. There's no more delays. So you're going to put the um, burden down with that. And as a result of the hangman in reverse, you are evolving now. Okay, you're evolving. All right. So that's good. that's a good thing. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep Mr. Hangman here. All right. All right. What does my Gem Gemini's need to know for their past? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Gemini. Okay. We have the Four of Wands. Okay. Four of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire Sign, the Eleven Eleven card. In the pa in the past, you could have. Um, had a home with this person, with this um, old sneaky here, uh, knight of swords, conflict, and ten old swords are here, ten of swords, ten of wands, seven of swords. In the past, you could have shared a home with this person or a committed relationship, and it even could be a twin flame. This is a twin flame card, too, so that's in your past. All right, and on the bottom, we have the hierophant. Oh, yeah. In the past, you could have been married to this person. That's what I'm getting, Gemini. Um, this is the Hierophant. This is Taurus. Okay, you could have been married to this person. This old sneaky, swordsy person up here. You could have been married to them. and Or you might still be married. This is in the past. I don't know if you're divorcing, divorced from them or if you're still with them. But this is showing up as your past. You could have shared a home with them. You could have had a committed relationship or marriage. Okay, that's past. You're ending a painful cycle with this person. They didn't don't they, they didn't do you. They they weren't good to you. Ten of Swords is brutal. Okay, and that Ten of Wands, you could have felt like you were having you know walking around with the weight of the world on your shoulders, but you got out. You're not in Hangman anymore. You're not stuck. You have no more delays. You can go on with your life now, and you are evolving. Okay. All righty. All right. All right. What do we need to know for my Gemini's for their future? Gemini, 
Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. What is the future looking like for my Gemini? Okay, I see the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, this is a great card to get. This is a great card. This is Cancer. I'm not Cancer. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. This is something, a person to me, as far as how your situation is looking, is you've sat back, you're sitting back in the future. You're going to be sitting back, taking a temporary pause to what you invested in, okay? It looks like that, that you got hurt really bad in this relationship, so you're probably taking a temporary pause, taking a break, looking at your, you know, just maybe admiring your pinnacles and taking a pause to see what you have invested in, all right? And then on the bottom, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, that's our apology card. This is a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, your person, this swordsy person here that were, was not good to you may want to apologize to you, or at least they owe you an apology, in my opinion. They might, with that fish in the cup, they might want to pick up the phone and call you. Some kind of communication coming in with that page. Okay? So that's coming up in your future. They may come and apologize to you. But you're going to, if you take them back, that's up to you. you but you are going to be taking a long, hard look up at a look at what you invested in. All this mess over here. Okay? Alrighty. Okay, Gemini. How is my Gemini seeing themselves at this time? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. How is my Gemini seeing themselves at this time? How is my Gemini seeing themselves at this time? Whoa, too many cards, Spirit. We just need one card. Well, that one looked like it wanted to come out. Um... Uh, Okay, Gemini, this is how you're seeing yourself right now. You could be um, depressed. You could be, I'm seeing this card as a depression card, Nine of Swords. I'm hoping you're not this way, Gemini. This is what's coming up in my cards. Nine of Swords is sleepless nights. Um, you know, you're thinking about what did I do wrong? Why did this person do me like this? And we had a home. We had a committed relationship. Why did they do me like this? Why did they treat me so bad? You're even maybe blaming yourself. I don't know, but I wouldn't do that. Um, it's negative self-talk, not sleeping at night, okay? So just um, try not to be in this energy, uh, Gemini, please, okay? All right. You may want to go and talk to your friends for help, get help from one of your friends or someone, your, your family, someone. And you, with this, also with this card, you may have made a vow to never love again, because there's a lot of hurt, a lot of swords on here. You made it to never love again, but I hope that that's not how you're, I'm hoping that you can get, to please get out of that energy. All right. What else do we have? How are other people seeing my Gemini? How are other people seeing my Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Thank you, spirit. Okay, they're seeing, this, I don't know if it came out in the reverse, or not. Um, I'm going to reshuffle. I don't like reverse cards, but sometimes it came out like almost reverse. So we'll just shuffle again. What does my Gemini need to know? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, that's a great card. Ace of Swords. Other people are seeing you as somebody that found out the truth. All right, you found out the truth about what was going on with your person. That they were not good to you at all. It was a, you had a, some kind of committed relationship, even a home, and you've had some sort of you've gotten some truth about this person. You know about them now. You have clarity. Okay, you've got some sort of breakthrough. All right, and your person could be having some kind of breakthrough because they are wanting to come and apologize. That's going to be coming up in your future. What's on the bottom? The Five of Cups. Yeah, um, you could still, like you got this Nine of Swords and this Five of Cups, you could be um, crying, you know, I saw this card depressed, I'm sorry, Gemini, you know, this is how other people are seeing you, but 
Uh, the thing with the Five of Cups is, you know, try not to stay in this energy very long. It's the cup energy, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone hurt you. You're grieving. You're in sorrow over this person. Um, those three cups there are spilled means that they spilled your cups. They broke your heart. But behind you there is two cups. Okay. So that may mean you may have a soulmate coming in the future, maybe a new soulmate. So don't stay in that energy too long, okay? Well, we all need to have a good cry, but just don't stay in that energy very long. All right. That five of cups is like kind of like whenever you break up with somebody, whenever someone breaks up with you or you have a bad relationship, you go through a period of grief and sorrow, depression, but it seemed like there's those two cups behind you. That means you could have a new soulmate coming in. So, all right. So don't stay in that energy. You found out some truth. It was probably some painful truth. All righty. I'm sorry, Gemini, but you know, with those two tens, the ending, the, it's the ending of a cycle. It's over. You just need to get out of this energy of um, not sleeping and crying. I hate to see you like this, Gemini. Okay, and we have also hopes and fears. We have the chariot. Okay, this could represent um, a vehicle. It's cancer. It's a cancer card, a major arcana. This could represent forward movement, victory, determination, willpower. Um, you are choosing to move forward now, it looks like. Okay, once you get out of this energy, you'll be moving forward. All right, that's the Cancer card. And the stars on the bottom, that's the best card. The sun and the star is the best card in Tarot. So the star is, to me, that's one of the best cards in Tarot besides the sun. This is Aquarius. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius in the future or a Cancer. But this is showing that you're going to be moving on, okay? You might, it's, you might be moving in with somebody else in the future, or you could represent a vehicle, moving just moving and moving to moving towards victory with determination and willpower and you're going to be healed you're you're going to be healing with that star the star is healing it's wishes coming true hopes and dreams wishes so you're going to be moving forward and healing yeah i'm proud of you gemini that's great those are the star is beside the star is the one of the best cards in tarot to get so all right, let me just get my cards organized here, Gemini. All right, what is the outcome on this spread for Gemini? What's the outcome on this? Um, oh, that looks like that wanted to flip over. Mm, I don't know. Let's try it again. Now the train's going by, Gemini. Okay, what, what is the outcome for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Spirit Guides? Thank you. The outcome is the Two of Wands. So, outcome. You're kind of at a crossroads right now. Do I stay? Do I go? Wrong or right? Okay, which way do I go? You're looking over at a new world. Okay, you're still holding on to this person, whoever it is, but you're also looking over at a new world, looking to make a change. So you're look, you're gonna have to make a decision which way you want to go soon. Hopefully, it's with that chariot and that star healing, and the moon is on the bottom. Um, this could mean this is Pisces. I saw two Pisces cards. You could have Pisces in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Pisces, or you could or you could have Pisces in your chart. The moon to me is intuition. Okay. In this case so you're going to be at a crossroads making a decision all you need to do is to listen to your intuition and you will make the right decision you, you're very this card means that you're a very highly intuitive Gemini and all you need to do to make this decision which way to go with your future is to use your intuition and use your intuition I don't mean to repeat myself all right, I'm Pete and repeat today. Okay. All right, and let's see. What else? Hmm. Let's get some clarifiers on these cards. I need to find out. 
I did not get a court card. I got a knight. That was it. So your person is hiding in here. All right, I'm verifying, clarifying the knight of swords. Who is this person that's the source of my Gemini's conflict? Who is this person? Who is this person? This Mr. Sword, Mr. or Mrs. Swordsy here that broke that that stabbed my Gemini in the back and did sneaky things and caused them to have a burden. What's going on with that? Who is this Knight of Swords? Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Spirit Guides and Ancestors. Who is this Knight of Swords? Who is this Knight of Swords? We need a court card, please. Who is this Knight of Swords? Who is this Knight of Swords, Gemini? Okay, it's strength, okay. All right, this is Leo, the Leo card. The Leo and Virgo. The lion is Leo and the lady in the white is Virgo. This is a major arcana. This could mean you were dealing with the Leo and it could also mean this Knight of Swords could be the Leo or it also could mean that you are going to have the strength to get through this, okay? You're going to have the strength to get through this, but I'm getting this person might be a Leo. Let's, um, let's see. Let's see here. It's on the bottom. Okay. Three of Wands on the bottom. All right. And they're looking back at you. We got the Two of Wands. This Leo is looking back at you. They're looking over. They want to come back to your world. It looks like you guys are not apart because I see that nine of swords. I'm just, it's not looking in the past is when you had the committed relationship. They're looking back over at you this, um, and you're not sure what you want to do. You don't want to go down a dark trail with this person again. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. So, so we got strength in the three of wands and verifying the knight of swords. All right. Now what I'm going to do is get a court card. Since nothing came up in the in the tarot, I'm gonna. Th who is this Knight of Swords? Who is this Knight of Swords? We need a court card. Okay, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it could be a Leo. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Leo. It's looking like it's a Leo because I'm seeing all that fire, that strength card, and or Virgo. Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Who is this Knight of Swords? Who is my Gemini? Who is this person that that brutally hurt my Gemini? That's the Knight of Swords, the Strength card, and the Three of Wands. Who is this person that hurt my Gemini that they had a committed relationship with? Okay, we have the Fool in Reverse. Actually, it's not in reverse. We have the Fool. The Joker is the Fool. We've got Aries and Aquarius. So it's still not really helping us any. Ah, here we go. And we have the Page of Wands. So this Page of Wands is the person. They Look, they want to take a leap of faith. That they want you back. They want to apologize with that Page of Cups. They want to come back, okay, even after all this that they did to you. They want to come back. I see it right here in the future. They're going to try to apologize but you're going to be really taking a good close look and making sure that you that they've changed that they have changed and you're investing in something good. You may just be worried about your money right now. You just may be stacking up coins with that 7 of pentacles as well. Anyway, that's the person, the page of wands. It's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay? And this this page, they're in page energy. They may be a little immature. They may be younger than you, but pages, they, they're coming up as a page. They, they could be immature, okay? So, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, now that we have that cleared up. <laughs> All right. Anything else on here? All right. Let's get... 
I'll make sure I didn't miss anything, Gemini. All right, so let's get another court card and see who you are. All right, who is my Gemini in this spread? We need a court card for Gemini. Who is my Gemini in this spread? Who is my Gemini in this spread? What What is my Gemini coming up as? What energy is my Gemini coming up as? We need a court card. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ancestors. Thank you. You are the King of Wands. Wow. Okay. This could be your energy. You don't have to be this sign. Okay. This is the King of Wands. This is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, obviously, you're not this sign because you're a Gemini. But this is the energy you're in. Uh, you could be, like I said, this is your person, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they definitely could be a Leo. And this is, yep, see, this is you. Um, you're kind of coming up as a king. Um, this King of Wands, you're the King of Wands energy. You could, you're, you might have, you might have some fire in your chart. King of Wands goes and gets what they want. They're very entrepreneurial. Um, they're independent, they're very noble, they're good looking, they dress nice, um, and your person's a page. So, there you go. Your person, you're coming up as a king and your person's coming up as a page. Could very well be a Leo you're dealing with. I'm getting Leo real strong. Okay. So, who we have on the board? These two, this is your person, the page of wands, and you're the coming up as the king of wands. Uh, there's the page of cups again on the bottom. That's two. That's three apology cards. This this um, page of wands, Leo energy or Leo Aries Sagittarius energy that that's possibly younger than you or just more immature. They are wanting. They're going to come in the future and definitely going to apologize. There's three apology cards. That's one. The page of cups. Two and three. Page of cups twice. So they are definitely going to come and apologize to you. Okay. It looks like it. It's what's coming. It came up three times. They need to after the way they did you. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I need to clarify. Okay, let's get a card on this sneaky. The Seven of Swords. Let me get a card on the Seven of Swords. Yeah, um, this person, whoever, this fire sign, air sign, whatever, younger person, need you more immature, Seven of Swords. Verifying Seven of Swords is the Five of Pentacles. Okay. They, that's another soulmate card. They may, they left you, feel, they left you out in the cold. They left possibly a house. In a committed relationship, whether it's a marriage or just a committed relationship, could be either or. They left. They left you out in the cold. And they're feeling left out in the cold from you. This person could be having financial problems, too, as well. The Five of Pentacles is a poverty card. They could be in poverty right now. That might be why they want to come back. I don't know. Let's see. Anything else I need to verify here? Hmm. Nope. Just give me a chance. Let me make sure I have everything covered here. Yeah, and also, I'm going to look at this moon card. This moon means you're highly intuitive. It also could mean some secrets or something like that coming out. Why is this moon card here in the outcome? The Two of Wands and the Moon card. Why are they here? Especially this Moon card, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why is it? Why are they here? Why is the Moon here? Thank you. The Devil. Okay. I saw that when I was shuffling the cards for you. Uh, the Devil. So you got the two. You got to make a choice here, Gemini. You're at a crossroads. The Moon. 
you're highly intuitive, okay? But this moon could mean, since it's with the devil, <laughs> this is not some good energy. This person that wants to come back, this page of wands, somebody, fire sign, younger than you, could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They, they want to come back and apology. They want to apologize times three, but they're still in toxic energy. They could have addictions, uh, with that oh, with that seven of swords they could have um multiple partners you know multiple partners uh drug addiction sex addic sex addiction very toxic energy uh you guys could also maybe have a very passionate relationship something like that they could be like obsessed devil could be obsession but you with this moon card intuitively you may already know this maybe that's why you're at a crossroads you don't know where you want to go right now so all right so that's the name of that tune hmm. and on the bottom is the fool you may want to take a leap of faith in a different direction okay maybe you just want to take a leap of faith in a different direction that's because of that devil yeah that's yeah, but you're still thinking about it. All right, but they are going to try to come back and apologize. Let me give me a drink of, give me a little drink here. Okay, let's throw a little mystic moon on this. This is the weirdest thing. There's no queens. There's no. There's only a king. You're showing up as the king of wands energy, entrepreneurial, you know. And this is a page. This could be someone younger than you. So this is our couple right now. Your person's coming up as a page. And the devil. So a lot of swords on here. So I don't know. We do have the four of wands and the five of pentacles. Those are soulmate twin flame cards. So we're going to see. What is going on with this king? My Gemini is the king of wands. And their person is the page of wands. What energy what is going on with that what's going on with these two here mystic moon what's going on with these two what's going on with these two holy spirit holy angels spirit guides ancestors someone to come out release yeah it says you need to release this person because they're not good for you See that right there, the devil. The devil and the seven of swords. I'm um, just going to tell you. I'm just going to be very honest with you. The devil and the seven of swords could be a narcissist. A very toxic person. You know, they want you back. Okay, just saying. Don't get mad at me. Um, received is on the bottom. They may have been trying to talk to you in the spirit realm. They may have... Or you may be talk. You guys may be talking to each other in the spirit realm, but it's not good energy because you're not sleeping at night. They they might not be sleeping at night. They may, may that might be them, not you. But anyway, message received. Okay, what else for this King of Wands and this Page of Page of Wands with Gemini? Just make sure you know you're the you're the King. And kings can be, a king can be a man or a woman, okay? King can be a man or a woman. Okay, what else do we need to know for our cup? The king of wands and the page of wands. Admired, okay, they admire you. <laughs> they admire you, Gemini. They should. Signs. You've been getting signs of them trying to come back. Let's see. I'm led to take some more here. Signs. Material world. Yeah. Okay. Material world. Please don't get mad at me, Gemini. I'm looking at this devil card and this seven of pentacles and this all these apologies and all these swords in here. Um, they may want to come back. Especially if you were married. I don't know. If you were married and you had a house and you're still living in the house. And you're the one that 
that took care of most of the bills or whatever, um, they may be wanting to come back because of this material for material reasons. All right. I'm sorry. This is not the best reading, but separation. Yep. And you guys are separated right now. All right. Okay. Anything else we need to know? Let's get a couple more. One more message for this king. The king of wands, which is my Gemini, and the page of wands is their person. Like I said, they could be younger than you. Or just immature. And keep in mind, that king could be a male or a female. Just, just saying. Vibrations and commitment. Okay. Alright. You may be... You may be vibrating at a higher level than them because you're a king and they're a page. See, evolving. You may be, you know, having some kind of spiritual awakening. That's another thing I'm getting. You may be going to, you know, you may be taking a new direction with a fool. Just maybe on your own. I don't know. Commitment. Yeah, you have a commitment with this person, with the Hierophant, but that was in the past. They still want a commitment, it looks like. They want, you know, Gemini, you're very high-flying, so no wonder they want you back. All right. Hmm. Did two cards come out? Yeah, they did. On the bottom is soulmate. Oh, Lord. This person is your soulmate. Because I don't see any other people on here. All I see is you and them. That's all I see. So maybe they're not cheating. Maybe they're not with anybody now. I don't know. I don't see anything. I just see maybe they're in some toxic energy. Well, yeah, they could be with this seven of swords and the devil. They could very well be with other, have multiple lovers. I don't know. I'll, yeah, I'll leave that up to you, Gemini. It depends on you guys' individual situations, but this is narcissist toxic behavior. Okay. You don't need that, but they are your soulmate. I hate to tell you. It's coming up as soulmate. See, that man's giving the woman a ring. They want another chance. I've seen that apology card come up three times. Okay, I think that's about enough of that. <laughs> All right, Gemini. All right, I'm sorry. I was hoping for a better reading, but you know, I have to tell you know me. I tell it like it is. All right, what about, let's get some cards on this. Um, King of Wands, Page of Wands. Looks like your soulmates and Gemini is evolving. And this other person is not. They're still in devil energy. Gemini, you're highly intuitive with that moon card. You're going to know what to do. You're going to be able to make the correct decision. Okay. All right. There, your soulmate. Lord, have mercy. Soulmate. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Looks like this devil swordsy over here. The Page of Wands is going to come in. All Page of Wands are kind of all enthusiastic anyway. They're going to be, they're going to come in and try to play around with you and try to maybe tempt you, maybe in se sexual something like that. They're going. That's just what I'm getting. Okay, I'll be careful with that. And on the bottom we have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So we got two separation cards. Okay. So you're going to be separated for a while. Maybe this person will change. A lot of people don't change unless they're going, unless they are going through some kind of spiritual awakening. And I don't see anything on here that implies that this person is going through any kind of spiritual awakening. All right. Well, anything else for this King and King and Wands page of Wands? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, it says others, keyword others, flirt. Okay, they're going to come back in the de in the devil energy, this page of wands, and be all cute, try to flirt with you. They may be good looking, fire signs usually are. Flirt, and they're going to try to be playful. They're going to try to tempt you, probably sexually or something like that, okay? But it's your call. Looks like you want to go in another direction. I don't know. Children, your love life is being affected by children. You guys could have children. Okay, that's all I'm taking for that. All right. Let's see. Looks like this person, this page of wands, has some growing up to do. 
whatever sign they are. I'm getting Leo real strong, Le very strong, but they could be an Aries or a Sag or an air sign, okay? Aquarius is down here too, or they could have those signs. Which I'm getting very heavy Leo for some reason, but don't have to be. It could be fire, another fire sign. There's fire and air on here, on here, okay? Let me see. Burp, 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 burp. Hold on. All right, let's get some Mercury messages. What does this page of wands want to say to my Gemini? Who's the king? And you can be a man or a woman and be a king. You're just in that, you're in that powerful energy. Both of y'all could be good looking and charismatic, cute, all that good stuff. And your person, it looks like they're younger than you or just more immature. Okay, we have, you made me believe in unconditional love. That's what the Page of Wands wants to say to you, Gemini. Yeah, because uh, you have put up with a lot of abuse from them. You probably have, you probably do love them unconditionally, you know. And I'm ready to make things right. Well, that apology card came up three times, so they want to come in and make it right. Hmm. Okay, let's do eternal messages. All right, what eternal messages do we have for Gemini? What does this uh, page of wands want to say to my Gemini? You gave me that spark. I thought about living together. Well, you guys were living together and something happened. So this chariot card could represent them wanting to move back in with you. Okay, but... You may have already healed from this situation or going to. This person's in devil energy, don't forget. I'm so attracted to you. You don't know what you do to me. Yeah, look, the devil, they are they got the hots for you. With that uh, strength card of the devil, that's hottie hot. They got the hots for you. Okay, Gemini. <laughs> All righty then. Okay, we're going to do a sip to life message for Gemini. Okay, what else do we have? What does this my Gemini need to know about this page of wands, their person that wants to come back? Okay, what do they, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do we need to know for Gemini? Okay, protection, <laughs> needing cleanse. Cleansing, spiritual bath, jealousy, protection, rituals, evil eye. Okay, this page of wands here could be sending you some kind of negative energy, the evil eye. Okay, you could do some kind of protection ritual. You know, spiritual bath, clean, uh, sage your home, protection rituals, evil eye. Yeah, yeah they may just be a little bit jealous because you're gone. They may be projecting some negative energy towards you. That's not good. Flight booking. They may, what well, might be, just see the chariot card here. <laughs> they may be far away with that three of wands card down here. It may mean that they're at a distance from you. They might be wanting to book a flight to come see you. They might be far away from each other right now. Oh, Lordy. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's get sip to life. Two messages, please. Okay, what do we need to know for Gemini and their person? What else do we need to know? Yeah, that's that devil energy. That evil eye jet protection stuff. They might have some... Might be trying to put some juju on you. I don't know. It hasn't come up yet or anything. So, could be just some negative energy. Evil eye because they might be jealous. Competition. Someone sees you as competition? Okay, whatever that means, Gemini. All right, that someone, they see, someone, some, it says someone sees you as competition. I'm just going to leave that right there. Altercation, physical fight. Uh-oh. Okay, somebody want to fight with you? I would be really careful because they got some, they're in devil energy. They're going to try to come back. They're going to apologize and be all, Page of Wands can be really good talker. Just saying. Um, protection, evil eye. They, someone sees you as competition. They may have, like I said, with that seven of swords and the devil, they may have someone else on the side and they're seeing you as competition. All right. 
no one has showed up in here yet, but I, they might. Just sneaky here. Altercation, physical fight. Y'all may, I, that's not, someone may fight. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about all that. But you, these are very specific messages. They will not resonate. Just please take what messages resonate and delete the rest because this is a general reading. Okay. We have Hello November. Okay, something specific could have happened in November. Number one. All right. We have STD, AIDS, hepatitis A. It's got all the STDs on here. Someone has an STD. It could be your person. Your person may have an STD, okay? I'm not saying this is not for everybody. And request for a criminal background check. They could have a criminal record, your person. So they could have found out in November that they have some sort of STD, all right? And they have some a criminal background. So I'd be really be careful. <laughs> Plane ticket, there it is again twice. Plane ticket has come up twice. They are going to, it looks like they are with a chariot. So that's traveling. So they're going to take a plane, come, looks like, all right. They're taking medications for an STD. Oh, Lord. Okay. Do we need to know anything else? I'm always scared to ask more. Do we need to know anything else for Gemini? Anything else for Gemini? The Gemini need for any, this is your person. Oh, Lord. Realtor, yeah, they, they may be speaking to a realtor. They, Since you're at a distance, they may be trying to move near you. Got flight booking twice on their Instagram message. Yeah, they may message you. They, mess, they may message you in the morning, okay, in, like in the morning, early in the morning. Okay. That's it, Gemini. This is, I don't know. Just be careful. I don't know if you want to dance with the devil anymore because you've been, you're trying to, you're healing. You might be a star. You might have some kind of star quality about you. Maybe that, and you have material, you have um, stability. A king of wands can be a star. You can have some kind of star quality, special talent could be being recognized as well. Um, I don't know if I'd want to dance with the devil anymore or not. That's up to you though. I can't tell you what to do. This, um, a lot of people may be um, looking at this star card after you heal or if you already healed. could also mean you inspire people. Maybe you're a motivational speaker or you're a tarot reader or you're just, you're good at communicating. You know, you could be writing music, some kind of something I'm getting for you. You can inspire people. Just saying. All right. What song do we, what's our king of wands and this crazy old page of wands over here that has all these issues. This page of wands and the devil energy. All I think about is you. Yeah, they're obsessed. They're obsessed with you. Lord, how mercy with a devil card. And let's see. Love me tender. <laughs> yeah, and they want to sex you up. Yep, see with the devil. All I think about is you. They're obsessed obsessed with you they're going to come back and apologize they're even going to take a plane they want to move towards you they're even looking at houses and keep in mind all these messages will not resonate with everybody some of these are personal love me tender and they want to sex you up there's it is there's the devil again they want to sex you up lord have mercy mm -mm -mm. okay gemini that's it. Be careful. It says here they're your soulmate. But, you know, they're in some, you know, make sure that you get your, you know, I would be careful. I wouldn't sleep with this person. This may not resonate with everybody. Just look through these messages and see what resonates and what doesn't, okay? Because not, some of these are, are specific. But three times the apology card came out, all right? Anyway, be careful, Gemini. I wish it could have been better, but you know me. This is what came out, and I have to read it like it is. All right, because it doesn't do me or you any good if I don't tell the truth. Okay? All right? I'm a seeker of profound truth. I will tell you the truth. All right? Anyways, you guys, be careful, Gemini. Um, looks like you're doing okay. 
and I want you to stay that way. You're healing, and you're a star. So just look, I would love myself first. Take care of yourself, okay? Be careful dancing with that page of wands and the devil energy. I love you, Gemini. I hope this reading helped, okay? And you guys have a great afternoon, and I will see you in the next one. God bless.